Exciting is going over the bridge, but safety is the most important factor here at Universal. We would never put you in danger at any point on the tour. Uh, Bob, what are you doing? Uh, Bob, we lost a beam on our bridge. Can you, can you back and trim up? Oh, we're slow! No, no, Bob. I'll tell you what, put your foot on the gas floor. Get us across here. What are you doing, Bob? Put your foot on the gas floor, Bob. What are you doing? redone to create four different time periods for Back to the Future like films. Right now it looks somewhat like it did back in 1955 for the original Back to the Future. In the year 1985, there was a parking lot in the center of this area. In the alternate year 1985, where Biff has become a very rich and powerful man, uh, this is where Biff's Pleasure Paradise was, a monument directed to the world's luckiest man, Biff Cannon. In the year 2015, they put in a big pond in the center of this area, and this is all where the, all the hovercrafts took place in the movie Back to the Future 2. In this area, has been a lot of different areas. Uh, this was used in the movie Gremlins in the first few scenes uh, with the uh, where they had a Christmas tree lot. I'm in a hurry to get these facades together as quickly as we possibly can because we have an obligation uh, to the Hollywood community to get these facades together as quickly as we possibly can. A lot of different production companies film on our back lot like Paramount, Warner Brothers, Orion, Columbia. So we get these facades together as soon as they can start.
Academy Award winning movie, Jaws. Now folks, I would plan on seeing a shark today. I worked here for 53 years and I've never seen a shark in this area. But as we do head through here, you might notice they're doing some renovation on our set here. Uh oh, wait a minute. There's somebody fishing out there. Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, there is no fishing in these waters. There's been a few shark attacks here recently. Uh, folks, there is a shark in the water. Don't panic. If you have smaller children, you might want to toss in the water right now. Might distract the shark here. Maybe get Mark to come up and beat it with a broom. Mark! Mark! Come over here and hit that shark! That rhymed. Excuse me, sir? Sir? Oh, no! Help! 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 What a dummy. Oh, oh. I've been trying to shack catch that shark for quite a while now. He's put a baited hook out on that yellow buoy out there. Let's see if he goes for it. He's going for the buoy. He's going for the dock too. Hang on. Whoa. 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 chase the shark with that boat. And right now, through a little bit of Hollywood magic, we're going to go from the East Coast down to Old Mexico. Now, this may sound a little strange, but uh, I heard that there was a 50-50 chance of rain in this part of our back lot today. I don't know what they're talking about. It's clear as a bell out to me, but uh, as we do into this area, you see they're doing some renovation. This area was used not too long ago for Tanner Jackson's Escapade video last year about this time. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, one minute here. 50-50 chance of rain. I'm going to be on my side of the ground. It's raining out the dogs on the driver's side of the ground. You know, sometimes when it rains this area, we have flash floods. So you might want to cover up any of your belongings. It might get wet. Watch the top of the hill. Just flood. In case we have one of those nasty old flash floods. Gibson, so she's basic. We have 10,000 gallon tanks on the top of the hill. Let that water come rushing down. Here in California, we're having a water shortage. We can't waste any of that water. It's all recycled up to the top of the hill for the next train to come by in about our seconds. The rain is produced by sprinklers in the trees, and that tree is the only tree in the world that can replant itself. Made of a very special kind of wood. Hollywood. Actually, it's made out of dogwood. Do you want to see you do a trick? That boy. Don't worry though, this spark is worse than its bite. Did I go on a limb on that one? I guess we better be leaping now. Oh. And here, you'll see the Bates Motel and Psycho House. This right here is where we film Psycho, Psycho 2, and Psycho 3. We're going to give you a nice close-up look at both the Bates Motel and Psycho House. It leads up to the cycle house. We call that our psychopath. <laughs> these trees are psycho trees. And I know these jokes have been recycled and recycled and recycled. Anyway, cycle house. You might want to look up on the second story window. You just might see mother rocking away up there. Norman, bring me my tea. Don't play with those nasty tourists. Anyway, uh, Psycho House, just a shell. Can't do any interior filming in there for the movie Psycho 2 and Psycho 3. All the interior shots were done inside of Miss Rick uh, Rosevich, who uh, you might recognize from uh, the movie uh, Roxanne. He was the guy that Steve Martin was helping to get Daryl Hannah. Location in the Bahamas, but from the close-up shark attack sequences, we just brought the Bahamas right here to our back lot. We dyed that water several different shades of blue to match water in the Bahamas, and every time Michael Caine got knocked out of the boat into water, he'd come up with blue hair. Had to be showered off. Got ready for the next scene. 
Oh, I can see by our orange barrels here. Uh, we just reached the highest elevation on our tour, folks, 12,000 feet. Oh, looks like it snowed last night. We call this Indian snow, you know, Apache here, Apache there. Uh, no, they can't all be them, folks. <laughs> anyway, oh, wow, it looks like the bridge is, uh, the road up ahead is blocked off. Right now, Bob's going to hop out and put the chains on the tires. Uh-oh, Bob forgot the chains. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to have to go through our ice tunnel. Real sorry about this, folks. I do recommend that everybody remain as quiet as they possibly can. I know that's going to be difficult for this group, but uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go off the mic, and I'll talk to you as soon as we get through here. the sequel to uh, the movie E.T. Steven Spielberg didn't want to have to go through the process of making a sequel, so he let us have the rights to it, and that would be quite spectacular. Right now, though, down in our studio center, we have our World of Cinemagic Special Effects demonstration, which I was telling you about earlier. Really fantastic uh, demonstrations inside there. Also, uh, a tribute to Lucio Ball called simply Lucy, a tribute. Right now, you get a great view of our lower lot, all 500 of our facades down below. Up inside of our entertainment center, you can see our five live shows, like our Wild West Stunt Show, my personal favorite, called The Riot Act. And we have over 100 stunts, all kinds of explosions and different things. Also, our animal actor savers, some of our amazing trained animals will perform, will perform for you, uh, like Lassie from the new Lassie series. And uh, also our Adventures of Conan, a sword and sorcery spectacular with sword fights. are called Picture Car, and Picture Car is any car seen in front of the camera. And besides great television shows and movies, Universal also produces some great live concerts. Off to the driver's side of the train, you can see Universal Amphitheater. Our amphitheater has 6,251 seats. Which means someone has to go without a date. Also means it's a very large area. You can have some major, major seated for the beautiful San Fernando Valley up ahead here. I... Holy cow, folks, uh, they're trying to alert us. Uh, there's a spaceship blocking the road up here. That's all right, folks. They're not going to take you inside a spaceship. Bob, just go ahead and try to run inside. Bob. Bob, that's right. Oh, holy cow! He's got a gun, Bob. What do you want to do? Okay, well, we are going to have to go inside a spaceship. We're sorry about this. Hey, hey, hey! Going inside your stupid spaceship party. Jeez, what a grouch. <laughs> Folks may want to take a few pictures. Could be used as evidence later. Don't worry, Universal's training you deal with almost any kind of an emergency situation. Will Smith is my first Cylon Raider. Let me see what I can do here. Hello? 
My side of the tram. We pass by this colonial mansion. So we pull around to the front here. Get a good view of it. It's on fire. Holy cow, folks! It's on fire! Oh, well. I to worry about it. It's been on fire for several years now. It's never burned down. Made out of material that won't burn. Flames are real, though. Produced by gas jets in the back. Scorch marks are made by black spray paint. And as we come around back, you'll see that no one's home anyway. Just another one of our facades here on the back lot. Right now we're entering our central costuming department and production offices. So I'm going to be off the mic as a courtesy to actors, writers, and directors who might be working in this area up ahead. But I'll be right back. Uh, 